Good morning, everybody. Um, today we're going to work on uh, a workshop about embellishing uh, the Clawhammer banjo style. So this is intended for people who maybe have been playing for a while, you've got the basic thing down, you know some simple tunes, but now you want to make them sound uh, a little more professional, a little fancier. And um, we have a lesson sheet for this with tablature and everything on our website, so please go to the description down there and click that link. Go ahead and print this out or save it as a PDF so you can follow along. Uh, essentially what we're doing is we're trying to keep our right hand do our basic stuff, but have our left hand add in a few things um, to, to get more notes out. And then also sometimes we're going to change our right hand off the basic bum ditty in order to get more notes as well. We're just basically trying to keep up with the fiddlers. Um, so the five ways we're going to talk today about um, embellishing are hammer on, pull off, slide, double thumbing, and drop thumbing. And each are their own world. We're just going to go quickly through them. So feel free to stop the workshop and sit and work on things. Um, you know, don't feel like you have to master all these in five minutes. Uh, so in order to, to teach e each of these embellishments, we just took four bars of I'll Fly Away. First we wrote it out, you know, without any embellishments, and then we tabbed out each one of these things we're teaching. So to begin with, this is what I mean by our simple tune without any embellishments. <laughs> fly away. The first one we're going to work on is the hammer-on. Uh, it gets used a lot in this style of banjo playing. Essentially what it means is after you play a melody note with your right hand, the bum of the bum ditty, your left hand forcibly frets a different melody note and you get in a second melody that adds a second melody note before the brush and the, or the strum. So like if I was going to do that on the first string I could play it open and then add my finger at the second fret. So like I said, it's one motion here, but you add this other note. It might take you a while before you can fret forcibly enough to get a good tone, but... So these hammer-ons are really important. Um, so first of all, try the third string and hammering on open to fourth fret. Try that. So if we do how we tabbed out I'll Fly Away with a couple hammer-ons in it. Do it again. And if I was playing that tune and I wanted to add some hammer-ons, I probably wouldn't add all those, but I just wanted to pack in, you know, as many as I could in four bars. Um, yeah, so practice on every string, on just whatever fret you feel like. And it's important that that hammer-on comes in the beat, the, you know, taka ticka taka ticka taka ticka So, that's the first one, hammer-ons. Um, the next one we're going to do is the opposite, it's called a pull-off. And that's where you uh, play a melody note with your right hand, and your left hand is fretted, um, a fret, and then you remove that note with your left hand, but when you remove it, you kind of uh, let your finger pluck the string. So if I just do it here on the first string. So like... Um, how we tabbed out I'll Fly Away with some pull-offs. Let me try that quick. So you hear that it's like it's still the same tune, it's just a little more fancy. Just like the um, hammer on, the pull off has to fit into the taka tika rhythm. Um, next are slides, and that's where you have a, a note you're supposed to be fretting, but right before it, you fret a little bit lower, well, or above actually, but usually lower, and you slide up into it. 
Sometimes the slide is just one fret, sometimes it's two. Kind of depends on what your ear hears as the right thing. So uh, a really common one is uh, like your second string is a B note, and you can play a B on your third string by playing it at the fourth fret, right? They're the, they're the same pitch. So a lot of times you'll slide into that note. So instead of just playing an open string, you actually slide on the lower string up to that note. So yeah, third string, second to fourth fret slide. It could be one fret if you wanted. Um, so try that on the uh, third string. And then another common one is on the fourth string from third to fifth. So this is how we tap it out here. And it's really important for Clawhammer banjo because you know the fiddle doesn't have frets and they slide their pitches a lot. And obviously, you know, old old style banjos didn't have frets either, so that slidey sound is pretty important. Um, yeah, and then you want it to be rhythmic as well. Another thing that's challenging for most beginning players is keeping the sustain of the note after you slide. Sometimes it's, uh, if you're not fretting accurately, it kind of goes away. So, work on that. The next two are right hand things. The first one's called double thumbing. You may already do this and not really know it. Um, but it's where instead of just playing four melody notes in a row, or however many, uh, you add your thumb in between them. So, like... So the way we wrote it out in this tab was... So instead of... Put, just put a thumb in between. Uh, you know that fifth string ringing a little bit more um, and that you'll find a lot of good places to put that in your arrangements the last one is called drop thumbing and it's really a whole style on its own um, we'll tuck it into this tune in, in a couple places but um, a lot of people use it as foundational as foundational technique to get the tunes they want out um, I don't use it a whole lot um, but when it when I do it you know it fits and basically so far your thumb has been stuck playing the fifth string mostly in claw hammer and drop thumbing just means that you make your thumb come down and do it same motion, but it just happens to do it on another string. So one um, one pattern you can practice is that it'll be like a melody note, then thumb on the second string, uh, melody note, thumb on the fourth string. So it's like first string, second string, first string, fifth string. do that where let's tuck it down and do second string and third string and then fifth string or of course you can do it on any pattern of, of strings right so where we tuck it in in um, this tab of I'll fly away is on second string third string fifth string Etc. So, um, 
that means we showed five different ways to embellish this tune, and each one of them we did it different measures in the tune. So if you think about it, you've embellished every single note of the tune in one way or another. And what professionals do is when they're playing their favorite tunes, is they're just using these embellishments um, interchangeably sometimes. Sometimes it's a hammer on, sometimes it's a slide, sometimes they're pulling off, sometimes they're adding a strum, you know. It's just like a constant conversation with the tune. Um, and that's why that's what makes it fun to play the same tune for 10 minutes is you're always adding a slight variation. So, um, you know, we did this, did this with I'll Fly Away, but you could take any of the simple tunes you're working on and start trying to find places to add some of these. And, uh, yeah, um, if you have any questions, send us an email or uh, put it in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.